GeyserMC is a popular Minecraft plugin, which allows Minecraft Bedrock players to join a Minecraft Java Edition server. So today I'm going to show you how to set up GeyserMC for your Minecraft server, but I am known for making extremely long and boring tutorials, so I figured I would challenge myself and see if we can get through this in under three minutes. All right, here we go. So first things first, you're going to need to be running a paper MC server. So no vanilla and your server version will need to be at least 1.16.5 or newer. So if you're running like 1.20.1, which just came out the other day, then you will be fine. And GeyserMC only allows Bedrock players to join a Java Edition server. It doesn't work both ways. And if you're setting this up for a bungee cord proxy, then I have a separate tutorial on how to do that that I'll link in the description. I just wanted to get all that out of the way to clear up any confusion. So you'll want to head over to geysermc.org and click on download. Now click download for spigot paper. Then you'll want to head on over to the floodgate tab and download the one for spigot paper as well. You'll also probably want the VIA version plugin, which allows newer versions of Minecraft to join an older server version. If you refuse to install this plugin, then don't come crying to me when this doesn't work. Next, you'll want to head on over to your server's file manager, go into the plugins folder, and drag and drop to upload all three of these jars. Then just go ahead and start or restart your server. Once your server is back up, you'll want to head back into your server's file manager, go into the plugins folder, go into the newly created geyser spigot folder, and then go into the config.yml. You really just need to set clone remote port to true, but I like to turn off command suggestions and the show cooldown to action bar. Then once you're done, press save or the keyboard shortcut control S. Now we're not done yet. You'll want to head into the floodgate folder and copy the key.pem into your geyser spigot folder. If you're on a web panel, then you can just download it to your computer and upload it into your geyser spigot folder. And while we're in the floodgate folder, if you want to change the bedrock players prefix, then you can just change it in there. This is so that way there aren't like name conflicts with bedrock players and Java players. And you'll also want to ensure you have enforced secure profile set to false in your server.properties. Otherwise, Bedrock players won't be able to send chat messages. Now you'll just want to go to your console and type geyser reload. If this doesn't work, then just restart your server. Okay, let's go ahead and join the server. So what you'll want to do is copy your server IP and port. Then just head into your Minecraft Bedrock Edition, click on play, click on server, scroll all the way to the bottom and click add server. Set the server name to whatever the heck you want, and then you'll just want to paste your server IP into the server address box and type the port into the port box. Click on save and then go ahead and join that server. And then say a quick prayer that it all works. And there we go, that is how you install the Geyser MC plugin. If this doesn't work or you have any issues, then make sure to check the Geyser MC wiki. Otherwise, you can pop into the Geyser MC Discord, or you can also pop into my Discord where I'd be happy to help you out. Well, how do we do on time? Hopefully it was under three minutes. Otherwise, feel free to call me out in the comments since I'm a evil scumbag Minecraft YouTuber after all. <laughs> You can also check out both of my Minecraft servers. They are really fun and they are also both Bedrock compatible. Hmm, I wonder how they do that. Anyways, make sure to subscribe and until next time, I will see you on the other side. And as always, happy crafting.